All right, guys. Alex here, back in my basement. I got a package today from across the pond from our boy Cal from KR Sabres. So this inside here is his uh, new V2 run with Crystal Chamber. So let's crack it open and check it out. I got a personally thank Cal because I had a uh, problem purchasing this off his site and uh, his custom he had some great customer service he quickly uh, responded to my message and showed me another way to purchase it and I was able to grab number 12 out of a uh, hundred and I started right when they first launched in about four minutes 56 of them were sold. We package it really, really good. See, I don't know if we're going to have to assemble anything. I'm actually going to pause it right now and get a bag to put all this uh, stuff in, all this uh, shipping stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know if we're going to have to assemble anything or what. A lot of bubble wrap. Ah, these look familiar. Ah, Trent's famous stencils. Yes. I jumped on this. I wanted this really bad because uh, this crystal chamber kind of matches the uh, crystal chamber in um, Rudy's um, Spirit of Obi, his run that he did for the uh, Romans Mark 1s. So um, I wanted one of these because it kind of matches. And the whole, like, I don't even know if it was Legends, but there was that lore of Luke going to Obi Wan's hut and building his V2 out of uh, old parts from Obi Wan's. So, um, when you have the Romans opened up with the crystal chamber and then this opened up with the crystal chamber side by side, they look uh, similar. Little, well, not, you can't really say similar, but same kind of. All right, so this looks like, this is what really is cool. That's beautiful. Wow. The inside looks like it's anodized. That's something else. Circuit card. Mystery chunk. Let's check this mystery chunk out. That's another thing with this is he supplied the whole. Oh, I like this. How do I get it to zoom in? Tap the screen. I like this mystery chunk. It doesn't have the knurling on top, but I still really like the uh, contour. And it looks like it's going to be press fit. Really nice. And it's steel, so you'll be able to age this. You could you could use super blue or perma blue. Oh, there's so many ideas. To uh, I, I, I read on the site his... D I'm not putting any of this in freaking frame. I read on the site that his D-ring is steel too. It's a big space. I'm curious of how I'm going to uh, make that work. Really like that Mr. Chunk. And the circuit card. Oh, it's on... It's on both sides. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I keep on... A little excited so I got it out of frame. It's the same pattern on both... I'm pretty sure it's the same pattern. Yep, on both sides. You can't screw that up. Very cool. Very nice. So that's the D-ring. Mystery chunk. Circuit card. And a uh, pommel end cap. The throne room end cap. This I think is all... Oh, well, there's a lot of parts in here. The bubble wrapping is very nice too. Yeah, this is all crystal chamber stuff, I think. 
Oh my god, that's tiny. Holy cow. I don't even know if I have... Uh, out of frame. Worst video ever. I don't even know if I have... Alan's that small. I just... I just picked up a... A set yesterday. Wow. Is none of this focusing? The whole time this thing's not focusing. I can't get the sun off the screen now. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And then this other one. This is, I think, crystal chamber stuff. This might be the actual chamber. Oh, God. I'm gonna get my, uh, can with... This is terrible. Focus now. Okay. Let me get my... Okay, I got my little magnet, uh, tray here, just in case I drop screws or something. I don't know. I just want to play it safe. It's magnetized, so it'll stick. I don't want anything to fall on this carpet and me lose it because I notice in the small screws some of them are black anodized well, they look anodized at least they don't look like the normal black set screws wow look at this very 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 sleek is this steel or stainless it's heavy it doesn't it doesn't feel like uh, the weight of aluminum Something's up with this. I don't think this is aluminum. This is heavy duty. No, it's not steel. It's got to be aluminum. Wow, it's heavy. Nice. Very nice. I'm willing to bet this is stainless. Very nice. We got some threaded rod here, I guess, for the chamber. I don't see any instructions. I was hoping to throw this together tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Two different size. Oh, one's hollow, actually. It's going to be interesting. Okay, so now we'll get down to the actual V2. Here we go. Wow. Wow, it's really shiny. It's very, very nice. So, I'm curious now because I thought it was going to be Roy's lever and Roman's clamp, but this doesn't look like... This is definitely not Roman's clamp. I don't think this is Roman's clamp. And I don't think that's Roy's lever. It definitely has a different finish. Oh. Oh, this isn't Roy's. Unless this is a new version of his. The clamp is very, uh... Bends here very straight. You can actually see the uh, sound venting inside the uh, clamp there. That's man, that's sleek. That is sleek. There's a set screw up there for the chassis. I remember seeing that on Goth's site. The, the wind vane is like um, Dan Star Killers. Really, really nice. The uh, Anodized is like no other anodized job I've ever seen. This is so shiny. It's really, really nice. The whole saber is very, 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 very shiny and very nice. The emitter looks like the nipple is built into the, I mean, the, yeah, the blade plug nipple is in the nipple. The nipple's in the nipple. Let's, uh, I'm, uncomf I'm really uncomfortable here on the floor. Let's set this up on the bench, the workbench, move everything over there. Back. Okay, we're back on the bench. 
So now you can look with this over. So the cone knob, I think the cone knob is a press fit too. No, it's threading out. Cone knob's got real nice knurling on it. See if they can cross thread it on, on the screen. I love this part of the booster. That, look, that looks really nice. And the way the machining was on that. That looks really nice. Pummel cubes are real nice. Really nice. Boy, the machining is really, really nice. Dying to know about the clamp and the lever, though. The lever is definitely not Roy's. The clamp, I don't know where. I can, I can see. I've never had a Graflex shop clamp, and I know the Graflex shop clamps had. Uh, you could see the texture in the, the lines from the laser etching, and you can clearly see laser etching in here. So I don't know if this is. It's got a very satin finish too. So. I think this separates like this. Alright. And I spun it. There we go. Wow, look at that. So, there is nylon plug, nylon screws. That's really. Alright. Cool. Nylon plug screws in here, which slide in and lock into here in three locations so is, is one different size so they can, it only goes on one way nope. I think there's only one way for it to let's break this Okay, what am I doing wrong? The tab's inside a... Oh, there is no... It looks like he sanded them down. I need to know. Alright, Cal, let us know. It's almost like spring action, too. Let us know who, uh, who made the clamp. Let's see if we can get this on here, though. This one seems to be a little bit deeper than the rest. You know me. These are nylon, looks like. That's what the problem was. That one was just a little bit too deep. I wonder why you opted for nylon. Oh, I get it. And then you can... Adjust the tolerance this way. Ah, genius, guys. Genius. Yep. Really, really smart. Here we go. I like that. I like that a lot. The emitter looks real nice too. Really, really nice. This is an idealized version, Cal says. So he went with even rings. But I have plans for that. I'll probably do that tomorrow while I'm working on the shed on other V2s. I got plans for these these uh, rings tomorrow. Let's take the emitter off. Check out the emitter. One and a half. I always go for that smaller one. 
Come on. Grish. Yep. That's in there good. Oh, there's only there's only one. Uh, there's only one screw. Blade blade plug is heavy duty. Uh, again, another only one. Blade plug's heavy duty. Ooh, that's nice in there too. If you look inside, is anodized too. Boy, the, these guys don't fool around with the anodizing. Can this come out? I don't actually know how this thing is constructed. All right, so this, this might come out like this. Wow. Let's see what happens when we take this out. Wowzer. Wow. No, I think this is all one piece in here. This must... Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, I'm doing it all off screen. Nice. Yeah, it is all anodized inside. Wow. Really, really, really sharp, boy. Really nice. I mean, sharp as in nice. Not like the machining is sharp. Really, really nice. This is my first uh, purchase with Cal. I know, I know of him. He's very well known in the lightsaber community. And uh, it couldn't have gone better. Uh, the, the website he used for tracking was really nice. Um, I hate FedEx, but they used DHL. And then once DHL gets over here, FedEx takes over. And I hate FedEx. They screwed me over on a bike frame. So when I saw that it was FedEx, I was like, ah, oh, crap. But everything worked out great. I'll line this up. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Oh, that's why. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I'd take this out. I'd take this off. Because I think lining this up is going to be a chore. I don't think. Uh, you probably said it too. Don't take this apart. Now, if this isn't a hundred percent, this isn't gonna go in all the way. Come on. Yep. See, now I've screwed myself. Don't take this apart. God, I'm a fool. Hello. What a beautiful piece, though. Clock it. Really, really, really nice job. This is really nice. Um, very happy with it. So <clears throat> this is my own personal V2. So you'll be seeing, I don't know when I'll be able to start on this because I didn't even finish my first one. But um, <clears throat> I have some plans for it. This one, all my props stay behind glass. Um, this one will actually 
be a belt hanger that I can wear at cons and stuff. So I'm excited to have one that I can play with. Really, really nice job, Cal. And, and also one replicas, because I think one replicas uh, was in on this too. So I really appreciate the um, the work, guys. It looks it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Everything went went great, and I really appreciate uh, another thing, Cal. Is I really appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your day and helping me um, figure out what was wrong on my end of the computer screen to purchase the. Uh, crystal chamber because boy we were I was cutting it close those things were were selling like hotcakes and I almost missed out and uh, I really appreciate you uh helping me figure out what was wrong so uh really really appreciate it um I believe Cal is doing another run I don't know if it's gonna have uh, a crystal chamber but uh as you can see this is a beautiful hilt and uh, FX ready and it's freaking solid even though it's in two pieces this thing is solid so um, keep an eye out on I'll put it in I'll put a uh, thing right here the Sabre Armory is where you can purchase uh, Cal's stuff so um, again thanks Cal um, I really appreciate it and uh, you guys be on the lookout for my mods that I plan on doing to this so uh, thank you for watching, and you all have a good night.